Welcome back to Vampire. Continuing the main quest, we need to try to find insulin in the old morgue behind Pembroke Hospital. I also want to keep an eye out for my father's third letter, which I doubt is going to be in here, but there's the tiniest, slimmest chance that it could be. Also, I'm curious what's going to be different here, because we haven't been here since the very beginning of the game. We came here for some ingredients to make something for Pembroke Hospital. Surely it's different. There's no way it's exactly the same and you, you have to fight like level 5 enemies or something. There's no way. There's got to be something special. Oh shit. Well there we go. There's something different. Guess that's it. Well, I'll search for the letter. Yeah, it doesn't seem like my father's message is in here. I just went all the way through the bottom of the morgue where I fought that boss. Nothing. Um, there is the crafting table down here, though, and it looks like we have William Marshall's memoirs to analyze. I wonder if that's going to be the recipe for the antidote. Yep. Just need King Arthur's blood and I can make it. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, at some point, I guess I got enough white phosphorus. I thought I was one short for a while, but I never checked. Maybe I was and I just picked it up at some point. Anyway, I can get incendiary damage for the pump action shotgun. It's going to make it extra good against beasts and vampires. I don't know if that also reduces the damage for other creatures, or if it only increases it for those creatures. Either way, I think it'll be fine and actually might be really cool. It's time to go pay a visit to uh, Jeffrey McCollum, who is our progeny now. We made them a vampire. I'm really curious how they're going to react to us, how they're doing, what they're thinking. Are they just disgusted with themselves, or have they already come around? I don't know, it'd be pretty quick to come around given that their whole life was based on hating vampires. Also, I think I found something rather disturbing here in the cemetery. Notice all these glowing headstones. I examined one and it said, Ichabod Throgmorton. I think all the people that died from the docks ended up here. Let's check a couple more. Dyson Delaney. Yep. Enid Gillingham. Rodney Grader. Sorry, God. God, I saved them from... <laughs> I saved them from the underground? I don't know if saved is really the right word. I don't think there are any great danger down there. Except from infection, I suppose. But, yeah. I made it safe for them to go topside, and then... Because of my decisions, they are now dead. Hey! Oh. Is that McCollum? Are you McCollum? Well, I don't see a name, so I guess not. Yeah, you're not McCollum. McCollum's McCollum. Hello, friend. all the tomb tones to tomb tones tomb tones that's the name of my new band the tomb tones but yeah my ultimate just destroys all the tombstones in like I don't know a 20 meter radius or something hey how you doing good evening vampire hunter are you here to mock me Reed not at all McCullum I am here because I need you really I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah. Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. Or should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to, but I must know more. What precisely are your plans? A creature called a disaster is about to be unleashed. It falls upon me, as once it did Marshall, to stop it before the whole country is ravaged. I should have destroyed that book. And yet, 
I wish I could join this battle alongside you. But this crusade is not mine to fight. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire hunter ever. Your worst nightmare in truth. Will you leave the guard now that you are what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men, or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. Will you hunt me down? Not for now. But you had better behave, Doctor. Or I may change my mind. Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One-time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. And tore out my mother's throat. Farewell. My progeny. Do not stretch your luck, Reed. <laughs> the way Jonathan said that, well. With such smugness. Okay, now we just gotta go craft it. The antidote. The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. Whoa, look who I found! Look what I found! I found the rarest boss of all, the T-Pose Priest Warrior. No! I was about to take a screenshot, but they un -posed. You asshole. Okay, well, at least I got him on camera, right? Right, well, we're down in the sewers now, just about to go to the place where Harriet Jones was. We'll see if they're still there, and if the other skulls are there, and what it, all of them have turned into. Probably not going to like what I find, I imagine. This place has been ransacked. District status hostile. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. This is where Harriet Jones was. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Follow the massive pools of blood, maybe? Those are big pools of blood, Jesus Christ. I don't see any bodies, strangely enough. I see lots and lots of blood, but that's it. Where do the bodies go? Where is old Bridget? Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. 
You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. What is your true appearance? I do not understand. This is who I am. Blood? You are made of blood? Surely you are joking. Why would I? And no, I'm not made of blood. I am blood. Blood is what I am since my birth and for eternity. But who are you really? Tell me your name. I am your maker. I am the servant of the Red Goddess and protector of this land. I have many names. Just give me one, then. There are those who call me Murdin Wild, the Wild Horned Man. But I never was a man. I was born out of blood. Why did you choose me? Only you could provide a modern, scientific answer to this ancient, mystical threat. Speak to me of this ancient threat. The blood of hate. Vessel of the wrath of the goddess. When she awakens, a disaster will be born into this world, for she is hunger and anger. What kind of modern answer? Disease, contagion, and contamination. How they course through veins is your dominion, my child. Your choices have made you. Only you can save this land. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. To spit in the eye of God. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the Queen of Blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. The Morrigan? The Celtic goddess of war? Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then. In your own words. A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. She awakes in this putrid vessel, the disaster. 
So, in a way, the disaster is at least a part of the Red Goddess? Obviously, killing the disaster won't actually kill the Red Goddess. I guess they'll just go back to their original form, place, whatever. Which apparently is not on Earth. They come here when they dream of walking the Earth, so when they're not dreaming of walking the Earth, they must be somewhere else. It's interesting. So, the disaster, according to, I'll just call him a mysterious entity, or blood person. According to the blood person, the disaster uh, being the, basically the hatred and, and the horrible will of the queen. The queen is a vengeful mother. It's not like the mother is someone that the blood person is trying to kill, right? I mean, they're the mother of the mysterious entity and of me and I guess of all vampires. They are the mother, so it seems like they just accept that, yeah, we have to clean up after our mother when they happen to just unleash some horribleness upon the earth. Just gotta clean it up. That's interesting. Like, it's an interesting dynamic. It doesn't even seem like they're interested in doing anything about the Red Queen. It sounds like they just worship them, they do their bidding. To some degree. And that's about it. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge. My champion, Bittersweet. Will it be over then? Once I've defeated this creature? Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. For you are our champion. Our champion? Who is the our there? Is it the mysterious entity and the red goddess? Or is it... I was going to say humankind, but I guess they're not human, are they? Is it all vampires? Everyone and everything? What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. It's interesting that it's a cyclic thing. Last happened in 1666. So about every 200, 300 years. I mean, who knows how consistent it is. Probably not very if it just comes about because of the will of the Red Goddess, but... Just every once in a while, you need somebody to stop it. I wonder if this mysterious entity was also the maker of... Who was it that stopped the 1666 one? Was that William Marshall? I wonder if this mysterious entity made them. I wonder if they were the champion. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. So, I get the feeling this is the final boss fight and then the game's over. I must know. What's this way? This opens? 
<laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, I think it's fine. I think that was one of the lower quality serums. Blood serum, strong blood serum. Yes. Good. It was not my best stuff. Whew. It's been unlocked. I guess it's a shortcut of some sort. These poor skulls didn't stand a chance. I'll be glad to be of assistance. Ah, oh, like your help, Doris. Liars! All of you! <coughs> My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet. You must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? My poor baby! Where is she now? Yeah, it's really, it's still just interesting me so much that the mysterious entity is trying to solve this problem caused by the Red Goddess, but at the same time, the Red Goddess is their mother and they sort of work for them. And like Harriet just said, how, like, who are you to stop the, the plans of the Red Queen? Does the Red Queen know that the mysterious entity is stopping their plans? Like, why? That seems like a very strange relationship. The Red Queen is trying to do something, trying to walk the earth in a very strange way trying to ruin the earth and yet their progeny is trying to stop that it's very odd okay um they are highly resistant to blood damage might as well use my ultimate though doesn't matter um <laughs> i'm about to take some damage they're moderately resistant to physical damage so shadow and guns are going to be my best bet and i can do incendiary damage with my shotgun i'm glad i got that upgrade Let's get my shotgun out. I got my pistol equipped right now. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Damn. Alright, hold on for a sec. There's gotta be multiple phases or something, right? Whoa. Whoa! Red Queen's avatar! Holy crap! They are not surprisingly highly resistant to blood damage. So, physical damage and guns. Oh. They're not stunnable, are they? Alright, well, there's all my shotgun ammo. Let's... Yeah, I'm fighting my mother in a sort of roundabout way. Such a strange dynamic. Okay, pistol.
blood. Feed me. Give me their lives. Ooh. Oh, no. No, no, no. I wanted to feed on one of the thingies. Apparently, you can knock them out. That's very good to know, actually. That's your... That's your main source of blood, I guess. Blood. I really need it. Oh, damn it. I got two more shots. I didn't think that hit me. Okay. They really don't give me very much blood at all. Come on, bring out your minions, I need blood. This is my only other way to get blood. This and just straight up melee attacks will also give me a little bit of blood. I don't think melee attacks are a good idea, though. Blood. Feed me. Give me their lives. I don't know what happened there. Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, do I have any other healing serums that are not strong? Stamina. Sta oh, God, that's my only healing stuff. Shit. I should have prepared better. <laughs> um, okay, so I got a bunch of stamina things and two strong blood serums. That's it. All right. AoE. Oh no, they have another phase. Oh fuck. distance so I can use my uh, my stun thing
Whoa! I don't know what they just did. Wait, am I am I through all my blood stuff? I thought I had one more, but ah, shit, I don't. I just have stamina serums. All right, well, I might as well use the stamina serum. Not that it matters. Give me more. They are I don't know when I started using the wrong melee weapon, by the way. I'm using the saber for some reason. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all. For you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amusing son. Then go back to sleep, my queen. And smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. It's just a game to them, the Red Goddess. So it's over then, young Ekon. You have put an end to this terrible menace. Old Bridget, what are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suaskal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come, engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. I thought you'd been slaughtered, with all the other sewer skulls. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's all over now. The epidemic has been stopped. Yes. You prevailed in the end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed, newborn vampire, stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. Peace found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too, now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, we are safe. For now, my craving for blood remains. Red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim, patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, 
and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled, and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. Well, this is it. Lady Ashbury's Domain. Why am I not surprised it's not on any maps? I'd better hurry. Find why Elizabeth's blood creates disasters. Learn a truth about Elizabeth. I am curious.